Hello Virgo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 16th of January until the 22nd of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the three of pentacles. Finally, you will experience prosperity and success in your goals, only if you continue to work toward the fulfillment of your dreams and do not allow disillusionment to dampen your enthusiasm. You need to do work that is satisfying to you and that you can be truly proud of. What new beginnings are you experiencing in the material realm? Is there some project or creative venture you have been putting off because of fear of failure? The Three of Pentacles indicates that dreams can be made real with persistence, determination, and effort. The Three of Pentacles may also suggest that you need help to complete your work and can draw on the knowledge and experience of others. It may be beneficial to share your work with a partner but only if they are as conscientious as you. At the core of the Three of Pentacles is the notion of teamwork and collaboration. In the card, we see a young mason working hard on building part of the cathedral. The two monks enter, with their worldly knowledge and spiritual understanding to bring a new perspective to the mason's work. Even though their backgrounds, experience levels and knowledge is very different, they are able to come together to share their expertise in a way that creates synergy and improved results. There is no as and them or any sense of superiority. Rather, each person has something unique to offer and is willing to learn from others involved in the project. Everyone is getting the job done together and is contributing to the group through effective listening and sharing. This is a positive card to see when teamwork, collaboration and cooperation are required between parties with different levels of experience. The Three of Pentacles also points to the importance of feedback. The Mason is open to listening to the monks and taking on their feedback on his progress so far. His primary goal is to do a great job, and he knows that the monks will be able to help him get there. He does not take it personally but uses their feedback and input to continually improve in his work. Effective Planning Management and organization are also key components of the Three of Pentacles. In order to accomplish significant goals, such as building a monumental cathedral, it is imperative that detailed planning occurs to ensure that all the components are progressing well. This card therefore reflects a time when it is essential to create a detailed plan and to follow a schedule. This is when good project management will pay off. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Three of Cups. What do you want most right now is to helping others, which in turn means that others are open to helping you. It is about spending quality time with your loved ones and your friends. It is a very sociable period. You will find a harmonious balance between meeting your commitments and spending quality time with friends and family. This is a great time to let your hair down and indulge yourself a little. You may be particularly drawn to the bar or restaurant scene, indulging in great food, wine and cocktails. You may also be celebrating something special, such as a birth, engagement, wedding, reunion, or birthday. For the moment, even though life's problems go on, you can take time out to forget about the hassles of the everyday world and enjoy the company of your friends and loved ones. Such respites are often needed before and after periods of high stress, to stop you from getting burned out emotionally or physically. When this card appears and you are experiencing a high level of stress, Take some time off to recuperate, and gain the support of friends before returning to reality. More broadly, the Three of Cups indicates the end or conclusion of any problems you have been experiencing, particularly those that relate to your interactions with others. 
a compromise will be found which will serve all the interests of those involved and will allow for a more harmonious environment. You can facilitate this process by bringing about positive change within yourself and changing your attitude in the way you react or deal with what is happening. Treat the situation with compassion and give the benefit of the doubt where possible. The Three of Cups represents community and groups of people coming together to focus on a common goal for the greater good of others. You may find that by reaching out to others and banding together, you can achieve a huge amount in terms of sharing your positive energy and passion with others, benefiting the wider community. It is a sign that you should seek out other people to celebrate your successes along with you. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Ace of Swords. You are afraid of moving forward and lack of clarity around what your true goals and aspirations are. You have a high level understanding but have you been able to define this in more specific terms? This card often appears when there is a lack of clarity or complete understanding of the task at hand, and asks you to spend some more time on clearly defining in very real terms what it is you want in life. Set yourself some smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound, so you can be really clear on what you are working towards. Focus on the basics and do some better planning. The Ace of Swords also reflects an idea or concept which you have not yet put into action, perhaps because you are unsure about whether or not it will bring the results you want. You are having difficulty with the early stages of formulating an idea, a plan or your goals. You may have too many ideas on the go and are unable to make a decision, creating challenges with completion. The Ace of Swords identifies clouded judgment and lack of mental clarity around a specific situation. You are missing important information or evidence that will assist you in your predicament, so invest your time and energy into seeking out the truth, rather than simply taking things at face value. The Ace of Swords can also suggest that a situation has regressed into to a state of complete chaos and confusion. Whatever clarity you had about the specific situation is now gone, and instead it feels like there is just one big mess. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the Nine of Cups. You will be feeling happy in all areas of your life such as health, finances, work, luck, love or relationships. This is your wish card as its appearance is often taken as a sign that, whatever your heart's desire, it shall be granted in the coming days or weeks. Know that you have paved our own way on the path to success. As a cups card, the nine usually refers to an emotionally fulfilling situation, such as the strengthening of a romantic bond, the solidification of a friendship or the consummation of a sexual relationship. It shows that joy and happiness are within your grasp. In fact, you probably already have them. It is a sign to enjoy the abundance of life and to feel each of your emotions as if you had never felt any of them before. See the perfection all around you. The Nine of Cups is also about counting your blessings, living in the moment, and enjoying the good things that life has to offer. Start or end every day by creating a mental list of the three things you are most grateful for. You will find that over time, you indeed have a lot to be happy about and it may increase your feeling of deep contentment and fulfillment. The Nine of Cups represents stability and advancement. This card signals delight and pleasure, contentment with what you have accomplished so far and forms a steady foundation for the future. Your worries are all in the past and you can look forward to a bright future. The man in the Nine of Cups also appears to have a certain smug look on his face. Indulge yourself in knowing that you have worked hard to get here and you have achieved the results you had hoped for. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, 
the King of Wands. You are afraid of a male significant figure in your life who is from fire signs, who can be dominating, pushy, and overbearing at times. This is rarely done with malice or an intention to make someone else submissive, it is just a strong tendency that sometimes takes control. He does not even realize when he crosses the line between being assertive and aggressive. At worst, the King of Wands typifies the most selfish, ruthless qualities of fire. He can denote a manipulative business contact who will use you as long as it serves his purpose. He may be a rival, competitor or unscrupulous opponent. In love, he represents a delightful flirtation that could wreak emotional havoc. He is only suitable for limited liaisons, holiday romances or brief, passionate encounters. His flames are bright and warm but soon die down. As an aspect of yourself, the King of Wands can suggest that you have set your expectations of yourself too high and may struggle to achieve those expectations. As such, you may end up feeling like a failure because you have not been able to achieve what you want in both areas of your life. Set more realistic goals for yourself and know that you cannot do everything nor please everyone. There may also be times when you become frustrated with the lack of progress in your endeavors, particularly if this is being influenced by your dependence on others. You may find that there are some people who are holding you back and preventing you from fully realizing your dreams and goals. If this is the case, it is best to cut them loose as no amount of energy will change their perspective. You may also need to be a bit more lenient on others and accept that not everyone has as much energy and drive as you to achieve results. Accept what they have to offer and do not expect anything more. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the King of Pentacles. You are about to reach the final fulfillment of a creative task, business venture, or investment. Through diligence, responsibility and attention to detail you have achieved great things and can finally say that you have completed your task or attained your goal. You can now enjoy all that you have accomplished and the successes you have created. You have created a richness of life, not just financially but also spiritually, which will set you up very well for the future. Whenever you need the skills to manage your day-to-day -day affairs competently and efficiently, you can call upon the King of Pentacles. Work hard, methodically and conscientiously. Give generously of your time and resources, because by giving you often receive more, and making more money is something that all kings of pentacles love to do. The king of pentacles indicates that a methodical, planned and well thought out approach will lead you to success. Many consider the king of pentacles to be dull and unimaginative but this is a likely consequence of his preference to do things in the most tried and tested way. You have experimented in the past with what works best and have landed on your own methods and practices that you know will continue to work for you in the future. So, you continue down this path rather than trying new ways of doing things. You know that you have reached the height of achievement and you do not need to take any more risks. The King of Pentacles also calls on you to be pragmatic and to stay informed on practical matters. You need to get down to the basics and use your problem-solving ability to get to a solution. You also need to be able to leverage your various skills and resources in order to create success. This king can also play the political game well, interacting comfortably with everyone, no matter what his or her status. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Release this card signifies that it is time to move on because this project or phase of your life is now complete. There is no benefit in remaining in this situation. Instead, shake off the old and welcome the new. You may experience a sense of relief at this ending, or there may be some sadness. 
Either way, it's time to leave that which you've outgrown. Take your time in adjusting to this change in your life. It is not necessary to rush ahead. Be kind to yourself during this period of transition, and seek the support of friends and family. Additional meanings of this card. Inevitable positive changes. Facing your fears. Relationship transitions. Spiritual evolution. Archangel Azrael heals your heart when changes and losses bring about grieving. Call upon Azrael to help you move forward fearlessly and let go of the past. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.